hello everyone good morning good afternoon wherever you are my name is shangu so today i'm going to look at the shona proverb chakafukiza zimba matenga chakafukiza zimba matenga which literally means houses have rooftops therefore it is difficult to know what happens in each household behind closed doors People may have problems at home, but prefer not to wash their dirty linen in public. Therefore, they will choose to carry on as if everything is normal, as if everything is all right. So, to give you a clear meaning uh, that illustrates what this Shona proverb Chakafukiza Zimba Matenga means. I'm going to leave you to listen to a short story. In Greendale lived a well-known couple, Ben and Rose, who stood as pillars of their community. Respected elders in their local church, their presence exuded warmth and kindness. To the outside world, theirs was a marriage envied by many, a bond seemingly unbreakable. However, behind closed doors, their once harmonious union harbored a secret that even the closest of friends were not aware of. Ben's gentle demeanor had always earned him the reputation of being the epitome of integrity. Rose, with her soft-spoken charm and grace, complimented him perfectly. Together, they radiated an aura of stability and contentment that inspired admiration among their peers. Yet, beneath the facade of marital bliss lay a rift that threatened to unravel the very fabric of their family. It was a secret known only to Ben and Rose, a secret that weighed heavily on their hearts with each passing day. It began when Rose stumbled upon evidence of Ben's cheating, a discovery that shattered her trust and left her reeling with disbelief. Confronted with the painful reality of her husband's betrayal, Rose faced a dilemma that tore at her conscience. To spare Ben the shame of public humiliation and to preserve the image of their picture-perfect marriage, they agreed to part ways quietly, divorcing in secrecy yet continuing to live in the same household. Their decision was not born out of spite or resentment, but out of a mutual desire to shield their family from scandal and uphold the image they had cultivated over the years. Thus, they carried on with their charade, attending church services hand in hand, exchanging polite smiles and pleasantries with their fellow congregants, all the while concealing the truth that lay buried beneath layers of pretense. Their children, oblivious to the turmoil brewing within the confines of their home, remained blissfully unaware of the cracks in their parents' seemingly unbreakable facade. To them, Ben and Rose were the epitome of marital harmony, a beacon of hope in a world fraught with uncertainty. As the years passed, the facade became increasingly difficult to maintain, the weight of their secret bearing down upon them with each passing day. And so, in the eyes of the world, Ben and Rose remained a model of marital bliss, a shining example of devotion and fidelity. Who would have known they divorced ages ago and there was turmoil that lurked beneath the surface of their seemingly idyllic life? Only they knew the truth, the truth that would remain forever hidden, buried deep within the confines of their hearts.